Again, you merry little miscreants, tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, la effing la. Now that intro was from Destiny's first dawning event that took place way back in December 2016, but it gives you a nice little taster of what to expect from this year's dawning, festive frolics and plenty of new sweet precious loot. And as you can see from this screenshot, the tower is once again getting a Christmassy overhaul. Dawning banners, snow and check out this guardian decked out in full dawning armor. Armor. Yes, that's a brand new dawning sword slung over his shoulder. And here it is in all its glory. You can now brutally slay your enemies while munching on a mince pie and humming cheesy Christmas tunes. You can earn this by completing the dawning's gift quest, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. And if you missed out on the first dawning event, you may be wondering what that glowing orb is. Well, let me take you back to December 2016 and show you. And check this out. Loads of glowing orbs in the sky. The question is, how did they get up there. Well, you can actually approach and pick up some of the lanterns that are scattered around the tower. Simply approach them, pick them up, and yes, you can even release them into the air like so. Check it out. Okay, that's quite enough from the past, let's look to the future now, after all, it's only just begun. Sorry, I'm in a Christmassy kind of mood. So then, what can we expect from the dawning in 2017? Well, a festive tower, new loot, snowball fights, ice hockey, the return of PvP mode mayhem, new quests, a brand new dawning engram, a knowing bungee, a few cheeky easter eggs and surprises. But before we look at all those, let's hear what Ikora has to say about the dawning. Uh, the traveller is awake. For humanity, a new golden age has begun. This year's dawning is unlike any other. It's not just the renewal that a new year brings, but the dawn of something greater. Now more than ever, we must gather together in the tower, at the farm, and all across the system to give thanks. Our light has returned, and it illuminates everything around us. Well said, Ikora. So then, let's talk about all of the dawning's activities in more detail. First up, snowball fights. Here's what Bungie had to say about this fun new addition to the game. Guardians aren't just arming themselves with weapons. There are snowball piles everywhere you look. In the tower and at the farm, you can tag your friends for bragging rights. In strikes, you can blast an enemy with a snowball to stun them and deal big damage. Stay frosty out there. So yes, yeah, snowball fights won't just be confined to social spaces. You'll actually be able to put them to use in strikes. Pro tip, don't eat yellow snow. And if you remember from a live stream back in October, Bunja revealed that the farm will have a few more snowy activities than the tower, like snow forts, for example. It'll be nice to actually have a reason to visit the farm. Here's another pro tip, don't get frostbite on your dinkle. Next up we have ice hockey, yep ice hockey. Expect it to work just like soccer, but this time with a puck. Chase it around and boot it in a goal to score points. It would be cool if we actually had ice hockey sticks, but look at the screenshot. No sticks, just a puck. And check it out. Here's a few more images of ice hockey and snowball fighting from that live stream I mentioned earlier. Next up, Crucible Game Mode Mayhem is back. Veteran Destiny 1 players will know exactly what to expect, but here's a quick recap for those of you who've never played it. Basically, your super grenade and melee abilities recharge really fast, allowing you to use them far more frequently. As you can imagine, carnage ensues. Expect grenade spam galore and the sound of supers popping off every goddamn second. It's not called mayhem for no reason. Good luck in there, mate. Next up, we have new dawning related milestones that reward players with brand new dawning engrams. You'll need to grind the new Crucible Mayhem game mode or take on strikes to complete what Bungie is calling the milestones of winter. Now, your dawning engrams will of course drop dawning gear. As ever, these loot drops will 
will be random. So if there's a specific dawning item you want, you'll be able to check in on Tess Everest and see if she has it in stock. You'll be able to purchase these items with Bright Dust. Now, Tess's inventory refreshes every week, so that during the three weeks the dawning event is live, Tess will have stocked every single dawning item. Items that include new exotic ships, ghost sparrows, emotes, and the new dawning armor. And finally, you'll be able to pick up dawning gift schematics from the tower. Now, these new schematics will require you to visit certain planets and collect the materials needed to craft a unique gift for the vendors and agents in the tower. When you give them a gift, they'll give you a gift right back, and according to Bungie, you can do this every single day. Exactly what kind of gift you'll be given remains to be seen. Now, the dawning begins Tuesday, December 19th and ends Tuesday, January 9th, so that's three weeks worth of potential gifts that you can earn. Let the grinding a commence. But we ain't done yet. Bungie's latest blog post sheds a little more light on Faction Rallies and Iron Banner and details what you can expect in 2018. Here's what the studio had to say. We're making changes to Faction Rallies and Iron Banner so that they include everyone no matter their level of investment in new content. We'll talk to you more about that work as it gets done. These events will come back very soon and they'll be available to all. We have more updates to Destiny 2 planned for the new year. Once January arrives, we'll talk about what we have planned for the next update and then for the update after that. In the meantime, your voice is a welcome addition to this conversation. If you're talking about Destiny, we're listening. More importantly, we're adding features and content to the game. Once we enter the new year, we'll have more info concerning updates planned for early 2018, and we'll keep the conversation going throughout the year. Right then, let Papa Console summarise all that. Faction Rallies and Iron Banner are returning very soon, and they'll be available to everyone, even those who didn't purchase the Curse of Osiris expansion. And in January, you can expect Bungie to detail the new updates coming to the game in early 2018. But before any of that, we have the dawning dropping Tuesday, December 19th. Next up, we have some very interesting tweets from Bungie's game director, Christopher Barrett. They seem to be hinting at future game updates. Let's check them out. First up, this tweet from Giggs, who said, I'm actually more impressed with Masterworks than I thought I would be. Seeing a Masterworks weapon drop is actually exciting. Well done, Bungie. I'd like to see added to armor and see a deeper mod system, but this is a solid start. To which Christopher Barrett replied, I'd love to see Masterwork armor soon too. A winky face. And check it out, Gathalian got in on the conversation too by tweeting this. This plus an improved mod system and the source will be a good source. To which Christopher Barrett replied, I'd love to see a simplified and much more interesting mod system too. And again, a cheeky little winky face. Next up, Christopher Barrett tweeted out a picture of the Dawning Sword. Now, a Twitter user called Rin said, very nice, but can you apply a shader to it? To which Christopher Barrett responded with, I'd love it if Swords could use shaders too. I'm talking to the team about it for a future update. So there you go, Masterwork Armor, a new improved mod system, and Sword Shaders are all things Bungie appears to be working on. Now, personally, I think Masterwork weapons are an excellent addition to the game. They give hardcore players a much-needed incentive to grind. Adding Masterwork Armor into the mix doubles that endgame grind. It'll be nice to see what kind of additional bonuses Masterwork Armor pieces will provide. Now, Christopher Barrett described the new mod system as simplified and much more interesting, so hopefully this too will add incentives to that end game grind. As for sword shaders, yes please, the more customization, the better. Okay then, so I'm back here. Now I was going to save these two exotic engrams for a big exotic engram opening video, but then I remember that Zur is now going to be selling a new exotic fated engram that guarantees you an exotic item that you don't already have. Now I still don't have Skyburner's Oath or the Tractor Cannon, and I kind of want to get them from normal exotic engrams rather than be gifted one from a fated engram. Now you're probably thinking, well just don't buy a fated engram you idiot and I hear you but I'm gonna buy at least one for a video so I want to try my luck here before I do that. So yeah, wish me luck. I want to get Skyburner's Oath or the Tractor Cannon. I still can't believe I don't have those two things. That's just actually insane. So let's boom, let's do this. We got a DLC exotic Crimson. Already got that. It's a nice little uh, exotic but hey I've already got and we got Lucky Raspberry. So I still don't have Skyburner's Oath or the Tractor Cannon. And now guys, are the drop rates for those two particular weapons really, really bad or is my luck just abysmal? Can I get a masterwork weapon from this? No. So there you go. I'm going to get a fated engram tomorrow and see if I can finally get either the tractor cannon or Skyburner's Oath. God damn. And that, my dear friends, 
brings us to the end of the video where I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you all once again for the continued support on this channel. Destiny 2 has been going through a bit of a rough patch lately but you guys keep coming back and supporting my content and for that Papa Console is extremely grateful. Seriously though, thank you all so much. Every time you leave a comment, drop a thumbs up or share this video, you help this channel grow. You help the video reach more eyeballs and you help make me a very happy content creator indeed. So thank you all so much. Your feedback, as always, is very much valued and appreciated. And guys, if you want to watch a video in which I talk about the rough patch Bungie is going through, plus my top tip for getting masterwork weapons, well, click this image. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thank you so much for watching, and as always, a tee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.